How's it going, everybody? My name's Josh from Elder Drunken Highlander, and today I'm coming to you with It Ain't Magic, our magic-related crafting series. We're going to be learning how to make foil peel altars today, which are the cards you see before you on your screen. These look fairly impressive and are pretty easy to do. The only skill you really need to have is to be able to trace in a line. That's, that's about it. We're going to be working on a simple method of doing this today. There are more advanced ways that we'll cover in later videos, but right now we're just going to be cutting a straight box and making a full art card, just like this Burning Vengeance here. So just one last quick thing before we get started, I am giving away the card that I made at the end of this video, so if you want to enter to win that, the details on how to do so are in the description. For materials, you'll need a bowl of water, an X-Acto knife, two hard sleeves, a glue stick, scissors, and the card that you're going to need to peel. I'm just kidding. We're going to be using the Spireside Infiltrator and this incendiary sabotage. A note, you want to make sure that they're the similar color palettes. I'm using two red cards, and it's also helpful if they're from the same set as well, because the frames will be the same. It's important. So, we're going to start with the card we're going to be putting on the other one. I'll be putting this infiltrator onto the sabotage, and we're just going to peel the corner of the card just like that. So once we're able to get a good grip on that corner, we can just separate the plastic layer from the cardboard layer. This is where the peel part of the foil peel comes from. And we don't need that cardboard layer anymore. We can ditch that, grab our scissors, and we're just gonna wanna cut out the art box or the part of the card that we wanna end up using with those scissors. It's easier to do this before we do the next step. Some people advocate doing it afterwards with an X-Acto knife. I think it's easier to do it before with the scissors, especially when you're doing it like this. So sleeve up the card, you're gonna be putting it on just to protect it, and grab your bowl of water. Then, you're gonna take your art, you're gonna dunk that bad boy right in the water, and you're gonna gently with your thumb peel off the paper from the back just scrape that off you want to be careful here because if you're too rough you could scratch or damage the front of the art part of the card so make sure you're gentle on it there when we're done we should have a nice clean piece of paper like that or plastic i should say Now, you're going to want to take a few drops of water and just dab it on the back. This is going to help it stick to the hard sleeve so it doesn't slide around while you're cutting it. And then you're going to want to line it up and align it in the way you're going to want it to be using the hard sleeve. It's kind of like a cutting board slash guide. Light box, I don't know what it's called. I'm not an art person. I, I just practice a lot. So take your X-Acto knife and line up on the borders where you want it to cut. Just give it one nice gentle cut across. You don't got to press down very hard. Really, like it'll damage your blade. Just press down lightly. It's very thin. It doesn't take a lot of force to cut through that. Move that out of the way. Then we're gonna do the other side. I just wanna mention here, this has sped up all of this footage at least times two, sometimes more. So don't feel the need to go as fast as I'm going here because even I don't go as fast as I'm going here. Take your time, take it slow. And you're gonna mess up the first few you do. Uh, I might do a video later on some of the bad ones that I've done in the past that have failed. I have them lying around mostly. And that's it. That's what it's gonna look like in the end. So now we're gonna wanna attach it and glue it. So grab our glue stick, flip the card over to the other side, and gently glue the bag. You see me fold it over here, and that's gonna crease it a little bit and ruin it slightly. Not too bad, but you wanna be careful with that. There's the fold. So make sure you're very, very gentle applying glue. Make sure you get it in all the corners. Now you're just gonna move it and slide it around the card where you need to be. You don't need to press it down in the perfect spot initially. You have like a minute or two to be able to move it. And don't tug too hard, because you don't wanna fold it like I just did there. Once we're all set applying it in the way we think we're good, we want to make sure we smooth out the corners, those are the parts that are going to peel up. We want to make sure those are all right and intact. And once that's all set, we're done. So if you thought this video was helpful and informative, please give us a like. If you have anything you think we should include in the next one, or if you want to tell us about cards that you think would look good as foil peels, or other altered art or other arts and crafts projects that you think we could do for this channel, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, and also if you want to see other content like this, please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching our video, and I'll see you next time.